right guys, so the uh, molasses truck is here and we're going to be filling up with some molasses. The farmer talked about it, we're going to use it to add to our corn silage um, to keep the cattle from picking through it quite as much. And out here and we're gonna hook it up to our bin so we do a little bit on the weight here that's how we'll measure how much uh, molasses we're getting so for this time we are going to be putting the molasses in the top of the bins they were cleaned out here so we'll get it uh, put in the top go. Um, once we get this, if we decide to get it again, we'll probably set up something a little bit um, better right now. We just have uh, it on the ground and then we'll lift them up and use that to get it into the TMR mixer. But we'd like to set it up with like a tower or some kind of stand that we can put these tanks on. But you can see they're filling up here. So um, we are buying this uh, by the pound. It comes in pounds. Um, and like I showed you, there's a, they'll measure how many pounds is getting pumped in. And that's how we know how much we got out of the tanker. So you can see there, the meter is for pounds. And, uh, monitor that as we pump it in. Just filling up. Mm, you can smell that molasses too. And he said even with the, the cold, um, we'll still be able to pump it out. It won't get too thick, so we're good for these uh, containers for that. We'll get these filled up and then we'll be able to add it to the feed and, and keep the cattle from picking through quite as much. Filled up here. A little more of the truck. It's chilly out today. And we got the first tank filled up there, so we're going to switch over to the second one. So basically this molasses when we add it will also um, help the cattle uh, want to eat more. It'll be sweeter um, so they'll eat more feed which will pack the weight on which is what we need especially for our feeders, for our bottle calves. So there you can see the second tank is getting filled up.
So just a little bit about the uh, analysis on this molasses. It has 1% crude protein, 0.1% crude fat, 0.1% crude fiber, 0.1% ADF, or acid detergent, a detergent fiber, 0.1% phosphorus, 35% TSI, or total sugar invert, 55% dry matter, and 45% moisture. It's a fun time on the farm getting something new, um, trying to figure out how to use it and uh, what the best way to set it up is. And two totes full of molasses and we'll be able to use that in our feed process and we'll talk a little bit more about detail uh, details on it uh, in other videos so this is just kind of filling up the totes and um, getting the molasses here all right so we're just uh, finishing up here get everything back and there you have it. Two full totes of molasses for us to use in the feed here on the farm. That's not something completely foreign to feed. Um, a lot of our feed that we get from the mill already has uh, molasses in it. So like I said, it just uh, sweetens it up a little bit so they want to eat more. Plus it'll make it sticky so they can't sort through it and just pick out the grain. And we'll do some more videos here um, on the process of adding it into our feed. We're probably going to just uh, weigh it into the TMR mixer uh, with the scales that are built into the TMR mixer. So. guys so this is what the uh, feed looks like prior to going to molasses um, and what's kind of left over here from what they ate so we will uh, blow this down and make a batch and show you what it looks like afterwards Hope you enjoyed this video on us getting some molasses here to add into the feed on the farm. As always, thanks for watching.
have a great day.